Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here, and I just got a message from Tank. He's the admin of the Auto Hockey Forum, and he was pointing out in Telegram they now have a bot there that connects you with ChatGPT. And Zayas and I have talked a lot about how so many more and more tools in the next you know couple months are going to be leveraging AI in one way or another in different ways. So we That's thought we'd do a quick example here of just showing it how you can use it within Telegram. That is right. So basically, usually those type of bots, uh, if you have the handle, you can search for it. The handle is just a name, the at. So if you click on chat, GPT, Dali bot, the name, if you click on there, you should be able to see the at, which is right. So that if you don't have him added, you can actually go ahead and search for it. So if you close this window on the left, you will see. So if you close this and go to the left, you can say the search bar here and you could search for any bot or channel or whatever you want. So it would show up, I think, just um, it would be pro no, not none of those is the one that has the actual no, none of them. Yeah, so this one here. Okay, so, but but it's, you have to be careful because it looks like several people already are using the name, right? So, but in general, the point is you could find it and you can add it, which is like just kind of like talk to it straight directly. And, but not only that, and this is something that we're going to try, try to do is just, we can add it into our group. So we have this Telegram chat group, uh, which is the RHK Heroes, and we could actually integrate it in there. Right before we do, I asked it, "Hey, what can I do with AutoHotKey?" So, so it's a powerful scripting language allows you to automate repetitive tasks, create custom hotkey, blah blah blah. What I loved was, you know, programming sending keystrokes. You can create hotkeys to launch, blah blah. blah. But then here, you can do GUIs, manipulation, regular expression, regular expression and automation. automation. Wow, so that's awesome. That it wasn't just the superficial, simple stuff because right people overlook AutoHotKey thinking it just sends keystrokes and mouse clicks, but it's no, so good. But it is really good. Yeah. It's a very good answer. Yeah. And did you try it? Because we usually had issues with ChatGPT and V2 and V1. I, I see did. I said, hey, how do you create a simple GUI in AutoHockey V2? And yeah. it threw up the normal, normal code. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, so hey, that means that that's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not, v, that's not V2. And it's like, hey, I'm sorry, but you know, can you explain a bit more? I don't know if it was asking for a link or, mm. um, but anyway, that's not I the really point. I really doubt it. Right, exactly. You but know, in any case, from working with ChatGPT 3.5, it's not aware of AutoHotKey version two. Versus right, the, exactly. I used in Bing, did show some V2 code. We both know in, you know, six months time, it'll be moot because it'll it'll have V2, no problem. But yeah, let's uh, nice, yeah. sit here. No. The, oh, so here are the different so, ones. So that was just the generic one, but you you can do other things, right? With with it, right? Which... Right. So all bots in Telegram have this menu in which there are certain commands, and it seems to me that in this one, whenever you change the command, it set up the bot in a specific way. And this one is not only integrated to ChatGPT; it, it, it seems to be also integrated with Dali. Is that what is going on? Yeah, that's why I thought I would oh, right. try to change it to the image and see. Look at that. It's typing, supposedly. Ah, let's see. What is it doing? This is a very interesting one. And and again, to the point that we were making before, more and more tools are just going to integrate this. And right. it's going to be like everywhere. You're going to grab your phone. Give me a, create a picture that does this and what yeah. and whatnot. And it would just do it. Um, it. It was typing. I don't know if it canceled the action or something. But now it's not typing anymore. So oh, that's an interesting one. The other thing is we we both saw that got an email because we're using their API for ChatGPT, and right. they announced two major things. One was this Turbo version, which which actually both of them were very profound. If if you you skim across it, you're like whatever. But if you really get into it, and they did one of these uh, things where they say it's uh, ten times less expensive, and I'm like, oh my god, you know it's. That's not a thing. It's maybe one tenth the price, fine, but they, yeah. they categorize it as 10 times less in cost. I'm like, yeah, that, that's. <laughs> anyway. Um, All right, here. Let me see. Oh, so it didn't. Hold on. When you use the command, should you put this right next to the command? So, so, the, have, slash so you have to put, yeah, and then give it the, the, right, exactly. Very likely that's how it's being used.
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, so you have to right. So this one he's he's charging for those. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's you know, interesting. Yeah, of course, <laughs> definitely. It opened in a prompt book. That's interesting. So this came up with prompt book. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. All right. So that's kind of like the help file, right? <laughs> that was the help file. But it seems to me that it looks free. I don't know if you have kind of like a limit as, as to how yeah, much you can use it. To the unlimited. Oh, hold on. I see it. I see it. I see it. There's the daily quota. So there is an amount, a limited amount of times that you can use it per day for free. After that, then you would have to pay to get the unlimited version of it, seems like. Well, ho hold on. Is that for the bot entirely or just the image thing? Where, do, where are you no, seeing? Just below where it says, please subscribe. Below that, it says daily quota. Right. No. So it says six out of 10. But if you go up, can you go up? Let's look for one of the ones that it gave you answers. Yeah. Looks ten. like, yeah. Seems to me that there is a... Ten. It is interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you have nine. It's how many I have left. Oh, right. Yeah. I was going to say, like, yeah. shouldn't it go up? Yeah. You have one out of 10. No, but it is how many you have left. So it looks like there is some type of, you know, limitations, I would assume, because they do have to pay for it. Whoever set up oh. this bot, they do have to pay for right. the API anyway. So and it's funny because in the hero group, which we'll add this to in a second, Thomas had just pushed a, an article there uh, about something. And so it said it's a much better user interface than the chat GPT. Well, I went there and it says, yeah, just give us your token. And oh, then okay. give my <laughs> token to some service that could just go crazy with it like that. You know, no way. <laughs> I'm not too comfortable with that. Oh, um, I... But to your point, Someone yeah. has to be, you know, paying, yeah. paying to use ChatGPT, and it's true on everything, right? As as far yeah. as somewhere, and this guy has set it up and said, "Well, I'm going to do this," and then he's hoping, "Hey, enough people sign up where I actually make money off the deal. I'll give you a certain amount free, um, and then you know, because for us, for the hero group, just imagine, right? <laughs> I got it to the group for ten bucks a month. Like, I don't know if this is says unlimited images." Uh, it's just 50, but, but if you do it for the other one, so if you go to the normal one, not the images. Pulls this. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, but oh. here it is. It is giving you some information. Aha, uh -huh. okay. All right. So there might be um, some way of actually doing this that, well, obviously if we go to their page, there might be some information about well, that's the main, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. How about ask me? What is that? Oh, yeah, well, the menu also. It, it gets you right back to this. Oh, right. So, oh, okay. So the menu here, probably in the help or something like that, for pricing, maybe there's help, donate, pr purchase, right? On the purchase, very likely there might be something. Oh, also you can purchase specific messages, images. It. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it's... A thousand messages a day for I assume nine 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 a month. They, it'd be nice if they stipulated what that yeah, is. Yeah, if you click on that, would it take you to the? Oh no, that takes you to the purchasing kind of thing. Oh, that's weird. Oh, here, hold on. Uh, slash plans. Just you can type it or use it from the menu. Oh, is this the plans? By the way, no. Uh, oh, didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Uh, oh, but it was. The same thing said, yeah, the same thing said it like you know, <laughs> but this oh okay. How about from the menu? Does the menu have that option like plans? Because there's purchase, but how about plans? Oh no, okay. So it, I saw the the slash plans in its message, so I thought, hey, maybe that's where it gives you information about the plans or whatever. But what what I'm actually interested in is who are these people? So I don't see any information about who they are which is interesting but seems to be as you mentioned that 9.99 would be a month but i'm not really sure about that you would have to start the the bot on there and it would tell you let me see yeah so okay so oh yeah for one month right so it's a month but but again for our group you know and it's a thousand a day so you know that's yeah, plenty. That's way, way too um, much. Like, I don't think people are going to use it that much. No, yeah. <laughs> and even if they do, they run out. Hey, you know what? It's, it's, it is what it is. But um, yeah, so in our group, in my, yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, this is my, I've created my own raising groups and then there's groups but you can combine them however you want here right. like, so like, those are kind of like folders so to speak right right exactly yeah but in the hero group yeah we have a very active private group that um the hero members can you know ask questions help support each other help you know ask for help we we get back to them and they usually even show us a lot of interesting tools like some people i see thomas actually sending a lot of tools that he uses very often and some others they find very cool pages websites and they pa pass it along so it's not only about coding it's no. also about learning different stuff that you can do in a computer and can help you in your programs as well i would go as far as say it's learning in general of like you know ways to to be more efficient and productive right that's right, right. That's i agree really theme um, at least that's what i'm going for and since we're the ones running it um that's yeah. what because it's some people are like, well, that's not auto hotkey. Well, like, it's not all about auto hotkey. Right, know? exactly. <laughs> people lead better lives, you know, find ways to work smarter, not harder. That is right. Anyway, so yeah, AI is really kicking off and it's just gonna really, really do amazing things. So back to my point earlier about that announcement. Sorry for jumping around. The the whisper thing and the the turbo mode well the turbo mode it was one tenth the price and that's why i think we'll see even more things like we just saw here offering you know to to put up stuff because the cost is so low it's ridiculous right. really like we've been using the api and we've still yet to i think it cost me like a nickel or something for you know the work we did it was crazy um now the whisper api that was the voice to text so it'll analyze what was said and be able to transcribe it for you, but crazy accurately, like really, really powerful. Yeah, because I think it, it kind of like predicts if you cannot understand a word, it tries to predict what that word would have been in that context, which right. is something exactly. that not other things can right. do, right? So right. yeah, that's Yeah, cool. they actually, the video I watched, they mentioned that whole thing of the, the tricky part about using the API is when with MP3 files, you're, you're shooting over the MP3 file, because if you have a two hour video, it's too long, right? So you need to break it up. Well, they said, make sure you break it up in sections that make sense because that context can really help ChatGPT analyze the whisper thing, analyze and, and fill in the dots, right? Of what was right. missing. If yeah. it didn't it. You don't want it mid sentence to break off, then you lose the context. So right, exactly. That's a good point. But then, then the videos we've seen also, they take it to, do you remember the name of it? There's one that does voice the other, they're in a lawsuit right now, 11? Mm. 11 B something like that where they're doing the voice, the text to audio. So they're speaking and they're speaking crazy. The, how they speak is so much better than I'm speaking right now. <laughs> it, it really sounds like a human. It's oh, wow. really going to take off in that we are going to be having conversations with our phones, with our computer. Oh, yeah, that, that would be, <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that it's going to be in my lifetime and that's so weird. Like, Right. In a in a few years, things might be so different. And I was born in a in a in an era that cell phones were not really a thing. So from not even having cell phones to now talking to your cell phone, like to your machine, it's right. so weird. Right. And I guess for you it would be like weirder, right? So yeah. Well, what's fun is talking to my dad, who, you know, he's you know, 84. And he, he he grew up in a house without electricity. It's, you know, just magic, it, right? it's hard to fathom, yeah, that like how far we've come in a lifetime. He he could literally talk to his devices and you, you know, I mean, there's imagine, so right. many, especially for older people. I think it's going to really help engage people that that society has kind of forgotten. You know what I mean? Like people don't want to. Well, they're they're going to get computers to talk to and have a wonderful time talking to them, right? Like it's. Yeah. It's uh, it's anyway. It it is. This is why we love what we do. Is the exactly. future is here, and it's just going to get wilder. So, hope you guys all enjoyed that. Cheers.